What is going on guys, Ben Glegan here coming back at you with another video for another episode in the power of Peterson. I believe this is episode either 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken, and I am excited to get right into it. We have a number of debuts taking place here today, including, but not limited to, Legend Randall Cunningham. The other ones are at free safety, Adrian Amos, strong safety, LaMarcus Joyner, and then the defensive line, of course, the Minister of Defense, Reggie White. Currently on the season after another win in last episode. Sorry to spoil that for you if you missed the last episode, but I would hope you're watching these in chronological order. We are four and one. Only loss was a loss of 17 to 14, where we just could not pull it out somehow. I don't even remember what happened in that game. Actually, yes, I do. It was a it was a fumble last minute with with uh, Jared Goff because my slide didn't register for whatever reason. So that's a game I think I should have won. I think we should be undefeated, but mistakes were made. Mistakes will not be made again. We are winning out on this season. And um, please leave in the comments section down below, what should my rewards be for either making the playoffs, winning games in the playoffs, and then eventually the Super Bowl if we do end up doing that. The way I worked it out in my head, and you guys probably will agree with this, is an upgrade for making the playoffs, an upgrade for each playoff game we win, and a tier skip for the Super Bowl. So I think that's fairly fair. Let's go ahead and get into game number one. I guess we only play one game per episode, so game number one is just the game. But he's got Ezekiel Ansah, Champ Bailey, and somebody else I don't even remember. Like, I saw him seconds ago. I have no idea who it was. I have no memory of it whatsoever. But here we are. We get to kick off first. I like that quite a bit. Our team, I would say, is better than his, especially now with Randall Cunningham. I mean, we have no excuse, really, if we don't just come out and annihilate these guys and in pro second string, the way we kind of have been doing in the past couple of games, as he's going to get away. No, 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 no. Third and four. Is that a swing pass? It is a swing pass. Do people do that still? Fourth and in inches, though. I wouldn't be surprised if he came out and tried to do that again. We're going to try and contain. Play hard flats. He threw it to the other side. Wow. I don't even... Okay. Interesting. A lot of motions. What the fuck? And his blocking is just so good. Is this the kind of offense I'm going to be playing? Are you serious? Like, I will stop it. Like, he really only throws short, as you can see, for 6 for 6 for 34 yards. I still have not yet figured out how to stop it. Um... I don't know, maybe man coverage is the look. But it's like he just has so many options, especially with a fast quarterback. We're going to try man coverage and just say our personnel is better than your personnel. And then follow Barry Sanders, and hopefully we don't get crushed in man. To run? Ah, uh, I chose the wrong hole. Wouldn't be the first time. Good sack. Let's get there. Reggie White in his debut, forcing a fourth and eight. It looks like he's going to settle for the field goal. We're going to play it safe. I don't really anticipate blocking it anyways. And I've been burned too many times. Did he just audible? I think I might have heard an audible, which means he might have been setting up to fake it on me. And then audible to an actual field goal. Down by 3 nothing early. His offense is, is interesting. It was it was eating me alive there for a little while, but we shut it down on the final, final uh, set of downs. Forced a field goal. I'll take it. Only down by 3. It's a Z spot, but I put Adrian out on a route. We're going to throw it to him, get a blocker out in front of him. He did absolutely nothing, but there he actually blocks. Adrian, go. Going to truck no one. Going to truck him back. Adrian Peterson, 41 yards to start out the game. That was such an odd play. This is Randall Cunningham's debut. Make something happen, Randall. I'm just going to slide. Okay, not a slide. Ooh, Stefan Diggs in one-on-one. Stefan Diggs in one-on-one I like. Oh, my God, he's, he's coming after me. Randall breaks a tackle, though. Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham. What a beast. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was freaking out there in my head. I mean, I guess... Did I say stuff? I don't even know. I, I blacked out. He's usury, Matt. I don't trust it. Ah, okay. That's my bad. I uh, playmakered Adrian Peterson there. Oh, he, he actually might house this. He might house this. He housed it. He's going to celebrate on me? I'll remember that. Okay. Uh, I thought once I playmakered Adrian Peterson, he would go far enough upfield and Randall Cunningham would lead him enough. Didn't exactly play out that way. Uh, and now I'm down 10-0. Is 
This is a very, very interesting start to this game. Pretty weird. I feel like almost out of my element in a way. Still not out of it yet by any means, especially receiving at half. If I can score quickly, get a quick stop, and then even score again, tying this up before half and getting the ball, I feel like I'd be in a really, really good position. Just uh, got to make the most of our opportunities. Leonard Fournette has checked into the ball game. That's interesting. I'm actually, I might give him a carry. Here you go, Leonard. Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette lowering the shoulder. That's a first down. Hopefully something gets open. I'm going to run with Randall Cunningham. Slide. Did I get the first down? It was going to be very close. They're going to give it to me. All right. The legs of Randall Cunningham are coming up really, really clutch here early. Here's AP. Oh, my goodness. Bounced. Fuck. And I can't, I got to get rid of um, Leonard Fournette at fullback. That's where, that's an upgrade I should have made, honestly, is get a good fullback. So on I-form runs, I can actually get yardage. We're going to go to the flats, though. It's Martellus Bennett. He's got the first down. Truck him. Doesn't even need to. Stiff arming. Marty B inside the 30. I'm going to have to take up all this clock. I don't want to give him the ball back. This play could work out somewhat well for me. I'm going to roll out, and he's going to have to make a decision. Playmaker with Adrian Peterson. I'm taking off with Randall Cunningham. We're just going to step out of bounds. You don't have the personnel. It's such a, such a tough coverage to run. And that is open. Randall Cunningham throws a strike. Martellus Bennett is in the end zone for the touchdown. We get our first points on the day. There is a decent amount of time left in the half, though. 54 seconds is definitely enough to score. However, his offense is very dink and dunk. So I'm not sure if he would be able to move down the field. And if we make him throw it down the field with a quarterback like Tyrod Taylor, he might make a mistake. He might throw an interception and we could very easily tie or go up before the half. I think we're actually in a pretty good position. There's just the right amount of time uh, for him to score, which is unfortunate. But I think there's also just the right amount of time to force him to make a mistake by trying to do too much at once. That's what I'm talking about. No, fumble the ball. I might have to put a QB spy. Like Olivier Vernon's so valuable, but I might have to put him on a QB spy. It might have to be done. He's going to throw down field. Tipped by Ryan Shazier, third and five. Get a lot of things open. He's throwing down the field. Adrian Amos can't get there in time. He broke down the cover four. Uh, that's a good play. Oh my god, someone get after him! Tyrod Taylor broke his tackle to avoid the sack. That man coverage is pretty good though. I might try that again. I have the personnel. My cornerbacks are very, very good. Yeah, kick is good. Alright, fresh half. Adrian has really not been that involved so far, but I feel like I need to focus on winning this game and making the playoffs. Perhaps there should be more incentive for making the playoffs. I'm not sure. But, uh... I mean, that's kind of the whole point of winning games, is making the playoffs and doing well and, and getting the upgrade that way. I obviously don't want to lose. But, I mean, we might have to take Adrian Peterson out of the offense a little bit and just see what we can do with other plays. Here we go. There goes Adrian. There goes Adrian. He's going to have to make a move on Paul Krause. That's a move. That's the move. Adrian Peterson, get off me. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. How's this for a celebration? Scoreboard after the extra point. Adrian Peterson, it's all day, baby. It's all day. 14, 13. We have the lead for the first time today. One play, 74 yards and a touchdown. That's going to put Adrian, I think, over 100 on the day. I could be mistaken on that. It's at least an upgrade for the touchdown. And here we go. Got to stop his dink and dunk offense. Because that's going to take a lot of time off the clock. That's going to put us in a really bad position if he scores and takes up, like, half the rest of the game. Shazier on Greg Olson. I, I can cover it. That's pressure. Reggie White, the minister of defense for his second sack of the game. He's going to try to run. There's nowhere to go because it's Reggie White. His third sack of the game in as many quarters of play. Three sacks, three quarters, third and 22. Let's man up and man down. Shut him down. Make the plays. I'm using a defensive lineman. It's Reggie White. Reggie White got pancaked. Holy shit. He's going to throw that. Tyrod Taylor can't make that throw. Fourth and 22. 
What are you going to do when the Minister of Defense and the power of Peterson team comes for you, brother? He's rage quits. That's what he does. Adrian Peterson, over 100 rushing yards on the day, I believe, with that 74-yard rush. He's got a touchdown. We got a rage quit. That's two upgrades and a tier skip. Time to buy a fullback. We brought out the whole Colgan, brother. Did some of that. Um... You know, say your prayers, need your vitamins. We got some upgrades to make. Leonard Fournette is still going to be on the team. However, um, we basically have a silver fullback in there. So we have to treat the upgrades as if we have a silver fullback, not the 76 overall that is Leonard Fournette at fullback. And the player we are going to get is Roosevelt Nix of the Pittsburgh Steelers. There was one up for 45, and I went to see if there were any for cheaper in the 45 one is gone. I had to buy him for 51. Not too bad, though. I have a few coins in the bank. But um, the way we're getting Roosevelt next is we're going to treat it as if we have a silver. So we're going to put a silver in there and then show you guys with our upgrades just so it's a little bit easier if you're a visual learner, I guess. I don't know. But uh, we're just going to pretend like Jordan Leggett is our fullback. I know he doesn't play fullback. But it's one upgrade to get to gold, right? And then we're using our tier skip to get to um, mid-level elite, which is 85 to 89. Roosevelt Nix is, of course, an 87. He is ground the rock, or pound the rock chemistry. I always say ground the rock. It's just not accurate. Um, and we are close. If we get to pound the rock tier four, we get plus one to trucking, elusiveness, and ball carrier vision, which I think would be pretty big. Adrian Peterson right now has 92 trucking, 83 elusiveness, which is not bad. He's been playing really, really well. Um, and a lot of you also have been asking if a new Adrian Peterson comes out, am I eligible to upgrade straight away? And that is yes. So we have one upgrade remaining. And now it doesn't have to necessarily move to the next tier because we're in that point where it's, it's getting a little bit more difficult to do so. And I think the upgrade I'm going to make is at cornerback number three. Or actually, it might be strong safety. I don't know. Um, PJ Williams drops a lot of picks for me. And that believe it or not, it gets old real quick. And that upgrade is going to be at the cornerback position as I talked about PJ Williams earlier. We're going to go ahead and try out this team of the week, Jonathan Joseph, getting it for just under 100k. He looks pretty good. 87 speed, 88 man, 84 zone, 84 press, 90 play rec, 78 catching was a huge selling point for me. As we scroll down here to PJ Williams, Jonathan Joseph has better speed. Minus four to excel, however, better agility. Plus 8 to man, plus 2 to zone, plus 4 to press. Uh, a huge increase to play rec, but that plus 8 catching, I think, is going to come in quite quite big. Uh, plus 21 to play rec is, uh, is pretty good as well. But uh, I think that catching is a, is a huge factor. So let's go ahead and plug Jonathan Joseph into our nickel slot and uh, see if our overall goes up to an 88. I don't think it will. All right, but this is the new look team here is the defense. Uh, of course, you look at defensive tackle too, but we run a 3-4 99% of the time. Dominic easily does not see the field. Cornerbacks are looking really nice. Could use an upgrade in the secondary with those safeties. And then the offense is also looking super nice uh, with just trying out Randall Cunningham. I don't know how long-term he's going to stay on the team. Kind of just wanted to try him out. Uh, we could use an upgrade point to potentially exchange him for someone you know, in his same tier, so 92-94. But I uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.